When we have a constitutionally enshrined voice to parliament... Isn't about a treaty, Ben. But there are three parts of the Uluru this Statement. Is, yeah, and this is not... So you're talking this about is the not about a treaty. And we advance on the process of the Uluru Statement from the heart, including truth and treaty. Over the last couple of days, Anthony Albanese has come under a little bit of fire because he was unable to answer some very straightforward questions by Ben Fordham on radio, in particular around the voice to parliament and what it means for treaty. Now, here is Anthony Albanese. This is a picture that's been circulating recently, wearing a T-shirt saying voice, treaty and truth at a midnight oil concert. It is midnight oil merchandise, as many have made clear. Uh, but this all comes down to the fact that prior to, you know, very recently, uh, as we've seen the uh, support for the yes vote dropping in the polls dramatically around the country, uh, Anthony Albanese and many uh, of those involved in the yes campaign have been trying to, I guess, distance themselves from uh, discussions around treaty as it relates to the voice. They want to separate the two and try to make this uh, a line uh, that exists, that it's somehow a separate thing. But if you go back uh, to many uh, statements made by a lot of the activists, a lot of the proponents of the voice, and Anthony Albanese himself, he has at multiple times made the link between the voice to parliament and the progression of a treaty with Indigenous Aboriginal Australians. Now, why he is being vague today uh, is maybe a mystery to many, but in my opinion, I think it's all deliberate. I think because people are really questioning what the voice to parliament actually means uh, for Australia and particularly around the implications of uh, a treaty uh, for Australia and all the other things which are attached to uh, such treaties. Uh, many people in the Yes camp, including uh, Anthony Albanese, I think they've done some PR or market research to say that we need to uh, nullify this being an issue and really just focus on the voice and the constitutional recognition of Aboriginals in Australia rather than uh, discuss you know, these questions around treaty because then you actually have to answer some questions, right? Then you actually have to substantiate how this system would work and what will actually mean for Australians. Now, I did some digging around on the Hansard on the Parliament website and found multiple statements from the past that Anthony Albanese has made linking the voice and treaty and how it's all kind of going to snowball from one to another and how it's all interconnected. I took those videos, I, I cut it in between uh, his statements to Ben Fordham and I created uh, this little video to give you an illustration of what I am talking about. So let's pull up this video and I'll play it for you guys now. When we have a constitutionally enshrined voice to parliament... Isn't about a treaty, Ben. But there are three parts of the Uluru is, Statement. Yeah, and this is so not... So you're talking about the voice. This is not about a treaty. And we advance on the process of the Uluru Statement from the heart, including truth and treaty. But as part of treaty, which we this guess is, will be a following step... This is not about a treaty. To find courage to begin the process of truth-telling and national treaty making. We'll see that compensation would be This paid. is not about a treaty. The path to national treaty. Agreements that acknowledge the pre-existing rights of a people in a land where sovereignty was never ceded. You're talking this about the This is not about a treaty. The national process of truth-telling, agreement and treaty making. You're talking this about the This is not about a treaty. As a priority, Labor will establish a Makarata Commission with responsibility for truth-telling and treaty. You're talking this about the This is not about a treaty and it will work with a voice to parliament. This is how we can go forward. You're talking this about is the not about a treaty. And treaty making. You're talking this about the This is not about a treaty. Truth, without which we can never be all that we can as a nation. And treaty. You're talking this about the This is not about a treaty. A clarion call for truth, treaty and voice. You're talking this about the This is not about a treaty. Voice, truth, Treaty. Labor is committed to all three. Yeah, so what do you guys make of that video? Obviously, there was a point in time where Anthony Albanese had no problem whatsoever talking about the voice, talking about treaty, talking about truth, and saying how one thing leads to another. Today, he's being very vague about it. I mean, this is not some massive revelation, even though it's been reported as such, because... 
the Uluru Statement from the Heart discusses this very implicitly and many statements have been made, as I've shown you, from politicians like Anthony Albanese. But today, as we get closer and closer to the referendum vote, they are becoming more and more vague with the answers that they give and distancing themselves and try to to put it into compartments. You know, the voice is one thing, treaty is one thing, and the truth is one thing. When in reality, previous to this, as we've seen in that video, Anthony Albanese has never had an issue saying how one thing will lead to another. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying my videos, you can follow me on X, formerly Twitter, now called X. I should make a video about that. Also on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Rumble, Odyssey, at The Real Rukshan, or you can look up my name, Rukshan Fernando. See you guys next time.